Welcome to this guidance video on working with three simple zones to control the many people plant interface risks. I am Claire Brown, Health and Safety Advisor for BAM Nettle. Today we will be sharing with you an effective way we have developed so you too can benefit and help others to stay safe on site. We're all aware how dangerous sites can be if not properly controlled and we need to ensure that sites like the one we've set up here for filming purposes become a thing of the past. One of the main hazards you will face is being near to active plant equipment. This is known as the people plant interface and minimising and controlling this is of absolute importance. Developed by operational staff, BAM Nuttall have a zonal working standard. This standard can be used by all to assist them in producing a simple and effective safe system of work in order to mitigate the many risks associated with the people plant interface. There are three main types of zone, exclusion zone, restricted zone and normal zone. To make the zones instantly recognisable, we have used nationally recognised signage, which aligns with the Health and Safety, Safety Signs and Signals Regulations 1996 i.e. the principles of prohibition signs, warning signs and mandatory signs. These help those with either a language barrier or colour vision issues within the workforce to stay safe on site. My colleague Derek will now explain how to identify these and how they affect you. Hi, I'm Derek Megabar, Work Superintendent for BAM Nuttall. Let's start with normal zones. These are identified by the blue signage like those shown here. Normal zones are the default zone where exclusion or restricted zones are not in place. Regular site restrictions such as mandatory PPE still apply in the normal zone. You should of course remain vigilant to your surroundings as always. We purposely didn't name these zones as safe zones as no zone can be guaranteed risk free. Next we have the restricted zone which is identified by yellow signage like this. The entry into this zone is restricted and only personnel who are authorised by the zone controller may enter. Those entering must be briefed and competent for the task they are to undertake, have suitable and authorised safe system of work and all of those resources they require once they are inside the restricted zone. We treat each restricted zone on an individual basis as the hazards and training requirements may vary. Restricted zones are any areas that require personnel to undertake work related to tasks in a site environment. This might include scaffolding installation, placing concrete, high pressure water jetting enclosure, loading or unloading an excavator or an item of plant, or even in the cab of an item of plant. Finally, let's look at the exclusion zone. This is a red zone, identified by a red signage like this and no personnel are allowed in these exclusion zones for any reason. Red zones are areas where plant equipment will be operating and there will be few or no controls in place to prevent interface with personnel. Typical red zones include hall roads, the slew radius of an excavator or a crane, and areas below overhead operations, and even some demolition tasks. Thanks Derek. As you can see, zonal working really is a very simple and straightforward way of working which, if followed correctly, keeps everyone safe on site. If you need any more information on anything you've seen here, contact your local health and safety manager who will be able to advise you. Thank you for your attention and please stay safe. Hi, Doug Mills, um, Highways Director. Now, we all deserve to go home every night to our families, just as healthy as when we went to work in the morning. And by controlling how people and plant interact in such a simple way is a real game changer. Hi, I'm John Slemons, Programme Leader in Rip Midlands for National Highways. We have been impressed with the Zonal Working Initiative uh, developed, delivered and embedded by BAM within their highway sector business. This really demonstrates a commitment to continual improvement of safety across their highway sector business and seeks to drive the safe delivery of construction works across all BAM sites delivering for National Highways projects. I'm Jason Holmes, I'm the Regional Delivery Director for Midlands within National Highways major projects. As you can see, the beauty of zonal working lies in its simplicity. Here at National Highways, we'd like to see this way of working utilised across all of our sites.